right, here we go with another retrofit on a Volvo S80 in this case. It works for other cars too. Basically anything after 2007. So here we have uh, the box opening and we have some foamy pieces, sticky foamy pieces that go somewhere. Uh, we have a module. These are uh, also some wire ties and these are also uh, sticky pads, you know, you tear the tape off one side and it's padded on the other. You'll see all that in assembly. Here we have some more wire ties and more fitting parts they're called. Oh, this is the microphone. Well, if I didn't say already, this is a Bluetooth hands-free installation and I'll be installing this on a Volvo S80. Here's the uh, user interface. Mostly you'll be pushing these two buttons here. But it's also voice activated, like you can say call home or call uh, whoever you want to call, say their name. And we have uh, a wiring harness. But in addition to this, uh, this, is, this is really the tricky part. They have this kit here, but you also need Ta -da, the wiring harness so they're different for different vehicles so you want to make sure you get the right application for your car and this particular one uh, where they're different is right here this connector right here some are this T connector some is a Y connector, some have a connector coming out of this guy. So, oops, you know, it could be either end. I, I just know that one of these connections is different if you have a different Volvo. So it looks like, uh, I, I know where this goes, but we'll, we'll see in the instructions and when I demonstrate it where all these uh, plug into. So there is quite a bit of disassembly involved to get all this wiring all tucked away behind all the panels and whatnot. Is actually there's 30 pages of instructions. And you have to take it to the dealer to get it activated. Alright, like I said, there's quite a bit of disassembly. And if you don't get instructions with it, which you should, uh, but if you don't, it's available online. Uh, so I won't go into too much detail. I kind of give you an overview. Not too many tricks, a lot of things are straightforward except the first thing to come off at this is this panel which is not straightforward. To take this panel off, you actually stick a screwdriver in here to uh, push on the tab to get it released. You back it off a little bit with uh, like a body panel remover and then you do the same thing on the uh, other side and that pops this loose. From there we take off the shifter and then the uh, we start taking off the uh, center console. There's some screws here, uh, some screws here, uh, some screws here. So that's six of them and then there's two in the back here that are hidden. So that's a bit, bit tricky too. So once that's off, uh, then we start tearing some other things apart. So this weather stripping will come off, all of this paneling here will come off, this kick plate right here, this uh, side plate right here, um, all this weather stripping right here. So the A-pillar also comes out, you take off this little tab right here, remove the screw and then the A-pillar comes out. Then you also need to remove this catch right here for the sun visor. And then the uh, overhead panel will come out, and that's really to uh, feed the microphone wire all the way back around to the module. Okay, I have the center panel out. They call it, I guess, the uh, climate control panel is out. And the worst plug, all the plugs came out real easy except for this guy right here. I don't know if you can see it. I had to press the tab down on the blind side on the bottom. I used a pick. I use a pick to depress the tab. I get on camera, I use a pick to depress the tab 
and then it popped right out. Also on this end, uh, these two screws here, they were hidden under some bumpers, which took me a while to figure out. You, you pry them out. You don't pry the rubber part out, it's a whole plug. You gotta get underneath there to expose the screw to that. And then the uh, two screws on the back side that you had to get at from here, I ended up having to use a little ratchet and a Torx on it. So there's the climate control unit out. All right, so there's the microphone installed. Uh, they wanted it installed on the light diffuser, but I didn't want to install it there. The wire runs across uh, the top of the car between the roof and the headliner past the visor uh, to the A pillar take that little piece off there and unscrew it and that'll remove the A pillar you go down the uh, A pillar to the bottom down here and then you run the wire along the side that panel removes that's also where I installed the module and then the wire uh, runs down here where I have everything connected up alright there's the user interface the wire again runs down uh, back behind the radio there uh, all the way down across and over across the passenger side wheel well and again it's connected over here where the wiring harness is then there's a splitter wire that runs from the radio down and across over to a junction box if you will where it's also split in and I'm not showing all this because it would have just taken me days to film all that. And so anyway, then there's another wire that runs all the way back that you have to feed all the way back into the control panel here. And you put that in uh, one of the established connectors. You just uh, open it up, shove it in there, lock it down, and it's in uh, pin position 9. So I stuck the module here, and then I let the wiring harness run down into this area which is where they wanted to install the module but I couldn't get anything to fit I couldn't get the uh, top kick plate and the carpeting to go back to where it needed to be so I just uh, let the wiring harness drop down there it was extremely long and I connected everything up there now it's off to the dealer to get it activated so the dealer had to download the Bluetooth software and then telemute application. I don't know what that is, but anyway, that came to a grand total of ninety-four dollars and seven cents. Phone menu. Say a command. Dial number. Number, please. Dial. Dialing. Hello? Hello? Call ended. Pretty cool.